today we are going to look at uh, the new GRC tool which is called which used to be called as GRC firefighter now it is called as GRC super user privilege management uh, GRC super user privilege management what this tool basically does is it basically gives uh, emergency access for people in production for a limited amount of time so they can perform uh, the duties which are approved by a manager or a supervisor and also the one of the unique feature about this tool is it can be tracked and a log can be generated and then emailed to a controller or a, or a, or a supervisor uh, this way uh, even uh, you are getting elevated access in production for a limited amount of time the access can be tracked uh, so that uh, people can know exactly what you did in production and also it also forces you to document uh, what you are trying to do and then they have a detailed log which goes with the reason okay the first thing uh, in a firefighter or a super privilege management uh, tool you need to define is a firefighter firefighter id is the id which basically has the excess access let's say for example you need to do mass maintain of material master and uh, you are a regular user who do the, who who you uh, and you do not have the access to mass maintain so you will give this mass maintain access to the firefighter id so normally in a typical client the firefighter id will be basically um, for example you will have material master firefighter id hr firefighter id uh, product product production planning firefighter id uh, finance ap production uh, firefighter id so you will have these kind of firefighter ids which can go into which can be given to specific modules so this is where you will define the firefighter id here and then you will also assign a owner which will typically be a team lead or somebody who is responsible for assigning the firefighter within that particular team okay the next screen is the firefighter so let's say you are you need to go and mass maintain the metal master this you will be given a metal master firefighter id and it will be attached to your id so this firefighter is the person who is actually going to execute uh, in the production system and then the firefighter id is the one which gives the access, access in production and then you can also specify how many number of days or how many number of weeks you will have access to do that so this will typically be given when you are in production cutover and some emergency time when system needs to be fixed immediately next column controller is where basically uh, you will say this firefighter id will be tracked by this internal auditor or controller who will get the logs or who will get the emails uh, saying that this guy logged into firefighter and did the particular these are the different transaction and these are this is the reason which he did for so for example this person was useful because if the person is uh, logging into firefighter daily they can he can question the firefighter or the person uh, why he is logging in daily and what is the reason for him to log in daily and why cannot this access be added to his regular access rather than using firefighter so this is just a basically monitoring and control uh, so that people don't use firefighter excessively uh, thanks for watching this video uh, please uh, look at some of the articles on my website sapsecuritytrainer.com sapsecuritytrainer.com for future classes and also more information thank you